Hey guys, I am back. And a lot of you want me to talk about UK Drag Race, so let's talk about it. I loved UK Drag Race so much. Um, obviously, if you see my cameos, most of them are from the UK girl, who I just love to pieces so, so much. They're so funny. I cannot wait for season three. Um, I've had conversations with these girls on Twitter. They're so active. They're so lovely. I just had a conversation with Davina, like, this morning. It, she's just so, so lovely. Um, but since we're sitting in front of uh, this lovely piece of art here, and, uh, we're gonna weaponize our degree here. And, um, if you see my Veronica Green cameo, I asked her to cast her season two sisters in musical. So, like, Veronica said she loves musicals. And she can talk about them all day, which she talked about them for like eight minutes. So, we love Veronica. We can't wait to see her come back for season three. Not a spoiler, because Ruin did invite her back for season three. So, uh, let's get to it. If you've seen that one, you know she forgot someone. Like Rose did. So, we're going to start off with that person. We're just going to go in the elimination order, because unlike with uh, season 13, we don't know the elimination order there, but we do for this. So... We are going to talk about them. Uh, Joe Black. Who else would Joe Black be but Norma Desmond and Sunset Boulevard? Um, if Glenn Close somehow dies before the movie gets finished filming, I think Joe could take over for her. Um, and then Joe obviously could, like, be her stand-in at any point during that movie, or just, like, on set. So obviously that's what Joe would be, or Joe would actually make a really cool, um, Frankenfurter in Rocky Horror. So, that's uh, Joe Black. Uh, Cherry Valentine. I like Cherry a lot. I just wish we had gotten to see more of her. Like, her looks were amazing. If you've seen her look that she did not get to show. They're so, so good. Um, and I love that she's a nurse. But there aren't too many nurse roles in musical theater, believe it or not. So I think she'd be a good Trina in Falsetto. Just like a very nurturing role. I think she could kind of play into the comedy of that. Um, we didn't really get to see her funny side, but I think... Terry could do, like, a really lovely job. Seeing her do I'm Breaking Down would be probably really fun. Um, so yeah, I just think something very, like, motherly, very nurturing for Cherry would work. Um, Athena Mandela would be, um, Nala in The Lion King, because can you imagine her singing Shadowland and being in that, like, beautiful costume with the headdress and everything? Or she would be a really good Angelica Schuyler as well in Hamilton, because she would just, like, really lean into the rap side of it. Satisfied is one of my favorite theater songs ever. So, yeah, Athena would be either role in that. Um, the poster frame really janky, though. The Lion King poster. But, yeah, her Nala would be, like, out of the world. Ginny Lemon. Ginny would be Jack's mother in Into the Woods. Because it's a role that, like, she would get to sit down a lot. She'd get to, you know, spend some time off stage. But then come on and say, like, random one-liners. And then walk off. Which is very Ginny Lemon. Um... And then they like to make it kind of like old lady makeup, and I think she would have a lot of fun as Jack's mother. Veronica. Um, Veronica says she would be Anne Boleyn. I don't see Veronica as Anne. Uh, first of all, Green Sleeve may not have been written about Anne Boleyn. Fact. Um, that some historians have recently kind of leaned into or been looking at that Green Sleeve may not have been written about Anne. But um, I see Veronica more. Like uh, Jane Seymour, just being, like, very elegant and beautiful, and singing Heart of Stone. Um, we'll get to more sick musical talk, uh, a little later, but otherwise, Veronica would be Anne Hathaway in Anne Juliet. And Veronica would get the bell to all the pop songs. She's a very, like, poppy queen. So I think, um, Veronica would really be great as Anne Hathaway. And if you haven't listened to Veronica's song, Stars, or seen the music video, go watch it. It has so few views, and she really needs more, because it's a really lovely song. She show off her range, and she looks beautiful. So, Veronica, if you see this, you know I love you. Um, if any of you see this, you know I love you guys, the U UK sisters. UK season two, one of my favorite seasons of all time. Tia, Tia, you know I love you, girl. Um, Tia, uh, again, I'll talk about six in a minute, because I do have another role for her there, but 
uh, sticking with the Anne Juliet because, you know, we got to have kind of like a little Tia and Veronica in the same show together. Veronica said Tia would be the best friend in any show, and she would. But um, even though for a kind of like maybe a slightly older woman, I think her as Angelique in Anne Juliet would be really funny because she has like a lot of funny lines. She gets to, again, be very sing pop song, but it all could be very, very funny, and I think that would be perfect for Tia. Um, again, any kind of a trendy role would be perfect for Tia, because that's what she is, and I really love her, and I hope we see her in a future season of International All Stars, like Tia 4.0 at this point. My sister sister was the one I struggled the most with. I actually don't have anything written down for her. You can see that, like, blank space there. Um, but I think maybe any kind of, like, 70s esque role, maybe something, like, beautiful, or hair or something. I'm not sure. What would you guys cast Sister Sister in? Because we didn't really get a lot of her on the show, which I thought was weird that she kind of get edited out of that first half of the season until she was synced. But, um, I'm looking at my Chicago poster, maybe, like, Rocky Hart. Because uh, there's a whole copy copy thing. Um, we'll get to a horror in a minute, babe, let me tell you. But uh, I don't know, she's through the hard one. She's a hard one. But speaking of my gal of horror, if you have not seen that a horror cameo, please go watch it. I'm sure you have by now. She's the, like, the sweetest bitch you will ever meet. I absolutely fell in love with her this season. But she would be either Heather Chandler, because if you haven't seen that video, it wasn't my cameo, but somebody else's, where she had to, like, fake her own death. It's hilarious. So her and Heather Chandler doing, like, her whole death scene would be so, so funny. I think she would really milk that. Or Regina George, because obviously. Can you imagine the horror singing World Burn? Or someone gets hurt? It would snatch my weave and leave me just deceased. A horror at Regina would be everything. Can you imagine her in that black cat suit singing world burn? End. End. It would just be the end. Uh, who left after horror? It was just the top four, so we'll just go with Ellie. Ellie Diamond, again, go watch, go to cameo from Ellie. She is my queen. I freaking love Ellie. She deserved so much more love than she got while the show was running. But she would be Little Red Riding Hood into the woods. I think that would be really cute. So she needs to be in something like fairy tale ish because that's what she is. She's like a little, little princess, a little doll. So I think Little Red Riding Hood, she would be really, really cute. Uh, Tace would, um, if you remember her um, prehistoric runway, she would be Papa Gay in the revival of um, is into the woods of Once on the Island, being very like tall and like scary, but also drop dead gorgeous. Go listen to. Um, that revival of Once on the Island, if you haven't, because she would be so, so good at Papa Gay. Again, they gender flipped it a little bit in that revival, but she would be stunning. Uh, Bimini. Bimini would be Hedwig. Obviously, I know where they want that role, but if it's a UK revival, it would be Bimini. Like, let's face it. And Bimini would be like the tiniest Hedwig with like that giant blonde wig, and it would be so funny. But Bimini would absolutely kill that role. Very, very her vibe. And finally, Lauren Cheney. Lauren Cheney would be uh, Barry in the, the prom. I don't know why I'm saying that. I don't, I'm not saying she gives me Jane Corden vibe, but she would be Barry in the prom. And it would be really, really funny, I think. Um, ooh, there's a wicked poster. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's what she would be. But anyway, um, if I had to do, like, a full casting of six for just the UK queens, and this is from season one and two, um, Stina Mandela would be Captain of Aragon, and she would be like, so, so great, uh, and her in that gold dress would be just beautiful. Uh, Cheryl Hole would be Anne Boleyn, can you imagine the chaos of Cheryl Hole being Anne Boleyn? It would be so good. If you haven't watched that cameo, go watch God as well, because chaos, chaos, chaos. And Davina would be Jane Seymour in this version. And I got into a discussion with Veronica and Davina over who would do that, but uh, Davina said she can hit most of the notes in Heart of Stone. So, I mean, come on, she she would be a wonderful, wonderful Jane Seymour. Tia would be uh, Cleve. No, Tia would not be Cleve. Tia 
Veronica could heal would be Cleave. You know who would be Cleave? Tate. Tate would be Cleave. Tate's doing that dance break and get down. Again, just end game. Right? Uh, Blue Hydrangea would be uh, Catherine Howard. So it would be just, uh, again, so wonderful and she's beautiful and again, having her and Cheryl as like cousins in the show would be so cute because they're best friends. Uh, again, I have a cameo from Blue. If you haven't seen that, go watch it because, she, again, she's beautiful and all that. Uh, and then Tia would be Catherine Park. She already has like the Parr kind of hair going on, like the poof on the side. And she thought she wanted to wear those trousers, so I'd let her be Parr. And she would act as kind of the emotion of, I don't need your love, going from like the whole, the whole thing. So yeah. But um, a lot of you asked me for my favorite queens of all time. I am working on my list. I have like... 20 or so that I might split up until I can honorable mentions and then my top 10. But it's a very hard thing to do. And if we don't have to do that before Down Under start to air next week and tomorrow is the finale. So again, team the girl right here. Uh, and hopefully I'll get a reaction of that because I have no idea who's going to win. It could be like season 9 and we could have a complete surprise. It could be like, you know, last season in, or Holland to be completely predictable. We don't know. So I will see you then.